What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be going over how to create one frame effects. Now we're gonna be using a few effects as well as creating simple animations in order to create a really cool effect. And I also do wanna mention, if you guys have any video suggestions or just feedback in general, let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely look into that. But with all that being said, let's get into the video. So here in After Effects, I have this really short clip it's 22 frames long it's less than a second long and we're going to be using a lot of effects so the first thing we're going to do is create a new adjustment layer and i'm going to make this first adjustment layer 12 frames the first effect we're going to add to this one is a tritone because i want the color of this footage to be different so let's add a tritone for this tritone effect we're going to change the color of the midtones so i want this to still be a similar color but i want it to be a little brighter so i'm going to make it like that but of course this all depends on your footage and whichever color that you want to go for the next effect we're going to add is a curves and for this effect i'm just going to bring up the highlights and bring down the shadows and by doing that that just adds a little more depth to our footage the final effect we're going to add is a noise increase the amount of noise to around 20 percent looks good and i'm also going to turn off the use color noise so by doing that we have this different look for our footage okay so the next thing we're going to do is add some of those one frame layers so let's create a new adjustment layer and for this adjustment layer i'm going to have it start at the beginning i'll have it start like right here so it's going to start there and then we're going to make this layer one frame long let's add a tritone to this layer for the midtones i'm going to have it a little darker so i'll change it like that and then for the next effect, we're gonna add an invert. By adding this invert effect, we already have this really cool X-ray type of look. And then for the final effect, we're gonna add a curves, bring up the highlights. That just makes it a little brighter. Actually bring down the shadows a little and then bring down the highlights like that. So now we have the first one frame layer. Next thing we're gonna do is duplicate this layer. Click Control D and I'm going to bring that forward two frames. I'm also going to extend it one frame so that's two frames long and then we're going to go forward one frame, duplicate the first layer or the first adjustment layer, bring that over to the 10th frame and I'm just going to have this one one frame long. This is how it looks so far. So we have those really cool one frame effects. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is create a new adjustment layer. Make this adjustment layer 13 frames. And for this one, we're going to be creating a zoom animation. So let's add a transform. Go towards the beginning of the layer. And for this animation, I want it to zoom out. So I'm going to increase the scale to 130. Keyframe that at the start. Go towards the end. And we're going to keyframe that back to 100. Easy ease both of the keyframes. Turn on the motion blur. As you guys can see, we have movement to our footage now, and that just makes it look better. Before, there's no movement, there's like no camera movement. And then once we added the zoom animation, I feel like that makes it look better. Next thing we're going to do is create text layers. So click the first layer, and we're going to create a new text layer. And I'm going to make this text layer two frames. For this one, I'm going to write concrete. I'm going to write concrete camo, because that's the artist from this music video. And the font I'll be using is enter i'm pretty sure that's a free font so if you don't have it you can install it or you can just use whatever font that you want so i'm going to go for the semi bold and you want to make sure that the anchor point is right at the center so if you hold the control button and then double click this anchor point tool that centers the anchor point and i'm also going to make sure that the text is right at the center so now that the text is right at the center you want to open up the scale and i want that stretch effect for this text so if you go to the scale and unlink the scale I only want to adjust the X value, so I'm going to increase that to like, I think 130%. Yeah, I think that looks good enough. Decrease the Y value of the scale, so I'll decrease that to 80%. Go to the toggle switches and modes, and I'm going to change the blending mode so that it actually fits with our footage. I think overlay looks pretty cool, and difference. So you can try out these different blending modes. I think difference looks good enough. So I'm gonna keep it like that. And then I'm going to duplicate this layer. Go forward one frame from the first text layer. Bring this layer forward. Open up the scale. For this one, I'm gonna have it look different. I'll increase the Y value to around like 350%. That way it looks different from the first one. And then let's go forward two frames. Duplicate this layer, bring that forward. For this one, I'm gonna change the text to camo. And I'm going to have the X value bigger than the Y value. So decrease the Y value. 200% looks good. So I'll keep it like that. Go forward one frame. Duplicate the layer. Bring that towards the end. And I'm going to change the scale for this one. So I'm going to link the scale back. And I'm just going to make it a lot smaller. So I'll decrease it like that. This is what we have for the one frame effect so far. 
think adding the text layers definitely makes it look a lot better. Next thing we're going to do is create a Y shake. Now I do have shake presets on my website. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll have a link down in the description. But in this video, we're just going to be creating it together. So let's create a new adjustment layer. Cut the adjustment layer to the 13th frame. And I want the Y shake to feel pretty smooth. So we're going to have this one be five frames long. First effect we're going to add is a transform. And like I mentioned, because we are creating a Y shake, we're going to be focusing on the Y value of the position. Adjust the position and bring that down. Before we continue, I'm going to add a motion tile because once we do that, it creates this transparency. Make sure to have the motion tile at the top and I'm going to increase the height to like 300. Click mirror edges, go forward one frame, keyframe the Y value. And I don't want this to be like a really intense shake. So I'll keyframe it like that and just keep doing that until you reach the end of the layer. Once you do that, we're going to easy ease all the keyframes and turn on the motion blur. This is what we have for the shake effect. Now to make it look even better, we're going to add a directional blur. I'll increase the blur length to around like, I think 70 looks good. So that just makes the motion blur for this Y shake look better. So the next thing we're going to do is create a flash effect, create a new adjustment layer, make this adjustment layer the same length as the one that we just created. For the first effect, we're going to add a tint and I'm going to change the Y color to a blue color. And then in order to actually create the flash effect, we're going to add an exposure. For the exposure, I'm going to really increase that. So I'll increase this to around like 2.20. Keyframe that at the start, go to the end, keyframe that back to zero. I also want to fade out the color. So we're going to keyframe the amount of tint at the start at 100%. And then keyframe the end at zero. Easy ease all of the keyframes. So after doing that, we have this really cool flash effect. All right, so the final thing we're going to do is create a zoom in animation. So let's create one more adjustment layer. Cut this adjustment layer to the start of the other ones that we just created. And we're going to add a transform. Keyframe the start at 100 and go towards the end. I want this to have a really slow zoom in animation. So I think 120 is good enough. And then bring that towards the end. Easy ease both the keyframes. Turn on the motion blur. So this is what we have for our final animation. So I feel like that looks really cool. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But yeah, that's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.